Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be looking at Henry Purcell's air in A minor, and we're going to be focusing on the left hand and looking at some of the stretches and spans of the fingers that uh, for the left hand part, the accompaniment part, and also some position shifts. And some of these spans in the left hand are very common in piano writing. For instance, the very first three notes, this A, E, A, that kind of a figure is very common as a left hand accompaniment in piano. And what that is basically, if we think back to the intervals we learned in our introduction, in the introduction to this book, we have an A to an E, that's what we call a perfect fifth interval, and then the A to the A is an octave, okay? And that's a, a, a great way that composers outline a, a chord without playing the chord, without playing this or this. Composers for piano would often play these kind of figures, an octave with a, a perfect fifth in between. find that kind of left-hand accompaniment in a lot of pieces of music. Okay, so let's go take a look at this. We'll look at the first four measures of this uh, left-hand accompaniment, and we're going to, and that is also incidentally the, the first system in the left hand, to use a technical term, system is a line of music notation. Okay, so we'll start off with A, E, a, five, two, one. Then, while we're playing that, our left hand will move up to the G sharp and prepare for the G sharp. So it will be like this, A, E, A, and then the G sharp, your second finger is already there, G sharp, F sharp, E, and then your thumb is already in position for the A, so you'll play A, G, F, and then E, G-sharp, C, okay? So that's the first line. I'll, we'll do that one more time so you can have a look and a listen. Once again, A, E, A, G-sharp, F-sharp, E, then A, G, F-natural, E, G-sharp, D. And you may have noticed my thumb starting to move under the hand as I get to the G-sharp. Once again, this is the fourth measure when we play E, G-sharp, D. I'm starting to move under here, and you're going to see that we're lining up for that, that C, no pun intended, uh, on measure five. So once again, measure four to measure five is like this, very slowly, and look, watch that thumb go under. E, G sharp, D, C, B, A. So much of what we do from a technical standpoint on the piano, and this is true for many of the pieces we'll be learning in this book, in many of the videos that follow this section of the book, we're going to be talking about preparing a hand or a finger before it plays a note. That greatly aids in the efficiency of our playing and we can focus then on making beautiful music rather than scrambling to find <laughs> the right key on the piano. So um, here we go. So this, as someone who's on your journey with piano playing, it's a good idea to think about this in different contexts, contexts rather, um, as you proceed forward with your piano playing. That, that is to say, you want to think about how you can prepare for certain notes or get to certain keys, even for music outside of this book, in an efficient way where you're not going to have to, sometimes it's unavoidable to make leaps, but where you're not going to have to scramble around. So you want to find the most efficient and easy, most ergonomic um, movement for your hands. Okay, so here back to the, uh, the measure four one more time so let's keep an eye on this thumb going under measure four to measure five so e with the fourth finger 
G sharp with the second finger, D with the fifth finger, and then thumb under to C, B, and then A with your thumb. That thumb under again will set you up for the second and third finger of the sixth measure. So the fifth measure will be C, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, okay? Then you're in position for the seventh measure, and it's just going to be A with your thumb, D with your fifth finger, and then E. And now this is a kind of mirror image of the first measure, but an octave lower. A, E, and a low A. So once again, the eighth measure, you'll spread your fingers out and play that octave with a fifth in between. Perfect fifth. A, E, A. We had this at the beginning. This is your first measure. A, E, A. And then your last measure of that section is A, E, A. A kind of mirror image or reverse of that first measure, which is a very interesting and compelling musical feature, compositional feature that Henry Purcell is doing, kind of wrapping things up at the beginning. He has this, and the end of this section. Well, thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope this was helpful for you, and we will see you in the next tutorial.